Oh, look. It's a cliche OS. Ugh. Hello YouTube, welcome back to an operating system review where today we're going to be looking at Q4OS. Now there are many ways you can actually go by installing Q4OS and what I mean is you have the option to go full-fledged, you have the option to go meh, you know, in between and the option to go completely bare naked. And thanks to that it claims that you can run this on old hardware like 300 megahertz processor, 128 megs of RAM, and oh, about 6 gigs of hard drive space. So anyways, as for us, we're going to be looking at the full-fledged version, which has everything out of the box and everything you need to do, uh, you need to have, in order to do productive work. And here we go, this is Q4 OS in its vanilla state with XP Q4 installed. Now remember when I would show you Trinity, well, this is it. Does it look like KDE 3.5? Well, in fact, it is KDE 3.5, only just Trinity. And just to show you, you can see the sound files are KDE original files, and if you go to help, and about Trinity, eh, they even have the dragon, and they have all this... Oh, well, we did this. It's a fork of blah, blah, blah. Well, this is it. This is Trinity, which is KDE 3.5. So to begin, we have our keyboard language, the clipboard. We're connected Ethernet. This is our mixer. And this is probably updates. Yep. And our little analog clock, which we can modify at any time. As for quick launch icon, we have Conqueror, which is a uh, crappy browser. And Show Desktop, which is show desktop. Now this actually looks a lot like the Windows XP Luna menu and why not you know if it, if it ain't broke don't fix it I guess. So to begin at the right we have my documents, the computer, the network folders, install application, web browser which is Chrome, control panel, find files or folder, run command, history and favorites. If you click favorites it's supposed to, well I think I'm out of favorites. <laughs> Well, anyways, um, we're going to begin with uh, those right application. If you go ahead and inst go to the software center, you can see it is a pretty, hmm, how can I say that, straightforward thing, but the problem is you don't have a lot. So you go to package manager and, hello, synaptic again. And as for the control panel, if you go ahead and click on that, it looks a lot like, well, all the Windows 9X and Windows XP uh, control panel option, as probably as well as Vista 7, blah, so on and so forth. So, appearance and themes, what do we got? We got pretty much everything, and we're going to look at this later on. This is actually a very good theme chooser. We have the desktop options. Internet and network Samba, which is your Windows share. Uh, you can well, yeah, you can share pretty much everything with Windows and vice versa. Peripherals, why not? You have everything here. Regional and accessibility, security and privacy, security, 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 and it has crypto. <laughs> sound and multimedia. Well, we got the sound system, the system bell, and the notifications, which. There you go. We've seen that a little while ago, and this is how you modify everything, which is like the Windows ma the Window Manager TDE instead of KDE K3B. And any application, you just go to the even event source, and there you go. And your sound system is pretty much what you want to choose when you want to go a little bit more advanced and test some sound and. Just have some fun, you know? Just don't go ahead and... System administration, monitor and display, that's definitely a system administration. <laughs> Font installer, path users and groups, and date and time. Users and groups, well, that's pretty much it. You can add, edit, delete, add a network user, and reload, edit and delete a network user. Well, we don't have any of those, so... 
So we have me and nobody. <laughs> TDE components. And there you go. TDE resources. Whatever that is. So we're done with the control panel. Let's go ahead and look at the applications. So programs, accessories. What? Accessories gives me everything? Okay, looks like the accessories is everything. Whoa, that's a little weird. So anyways, auto start is pretty much your startup folder. Dump anything in there and it'll start automatically. Games, we have these games. Google Chrome is Google Chrome. LibreOffice is out of the box. So you're ready to go with the Office production. Mozilla Thunderbird, or uh, like I call it, Mozilla Turdbird, is pre-installed. Synaptic. I don't get it. You have to uninstall. Uh, VLC is also out of the box. XPQ4. I'll link the link in the description below. And this is for Q4 OS only. So if you want to try it on some on the on a different distribution, I don't think it'll work. And of course, Conquer Console. And for shits and giggles. Just to show you that it's pretty recent, uname.r, we have kernel 3.16, which is not the most recent, but eh, why not, if it works. Now for the accessories, which is pretty much everything else, well, we have whatever, anything in here, games, oh man, oh boy, yep, the graphics, see, we even have a few, uh, extra things, you know, like K-Snapshot, which is a, my favorite snapshot program when you want to capture your screen, but well, it's pretty cool. Internet, see we have KML, hidden right behind there. Multimedia, look, we have our CD and DVD burning tool right here, recording tool, uh, the volume control, which is right over here, so, I don't know, redundancy, I guess, and VLC's right here, too. Office is Office, of course. Settings is... Oh my god, it has Java. Ugh! System. We have super user stuff. Like super user, super user, and super user. Ooh, yeah. When that's when you want to get busy. We have HTOP as well, which we're going to look at after. We have print jobs, sound mixer, terminal, la 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 la. Cases guard, which actually is a fun thing. And here's your two package manager. Here's a simple one, but lacking one, and this is the more advanced and full. Network manager, screen resize, and rotate. There you go. So we're going to look at two of them. Cases guard has always been mm, one of my favorite. Ironically, it says it's using a gig. Well, let's see what HTOP thinks. If I, can, if I can read correctly, we're using 329 megs out of 1.9 gigs. So yes, you can run this on a very old machine and equip with 512 megs of RAM, you can actually manage to pull away with it. However, maybe 768 megs of RAM, 1 gig would be a preferred option. And as you can see, we're not using anything swap-wise. And in utilities, accessibility stuff, desktop stuff, editors which is kwrite and file which is arc mm -hmm. archiving tool under file mm -hmm. should be more like uh, file archivers I don't know but that's pretty much the tour of Q4 OS a little basic desktop right here let's see if we have some wallpapers to boot oh yeah we do nice I'll go ahead and hit apply because why not and there you go hmm. Alright, now we're going to be going at XPQ4. XPQ4 gives you all these options. You can have a Windows 2000, XP Classic, Luna, 7, 8, or 10. So for example, we're going to apply to 2000. You have to log out all the time. And it's normal. Because it has to pretty much, yeah, update the system configuration. It is a pretty big modification. This always starts in the beginning, so I just wanted to show it before I told it to never show up again. And as you can see here, we have even the um, <laughs> the Windows 2000 Classic icons. And as you can see here, Storage Media. There you go, you even have a little meter right here. Hmm, not bad. 
So let's take a little quick peek at the others. This is XP Classic. This is the Luna theme of Windows XP. That's Windows 7. That's Windows 8. Little something about Windows 8. Well, it doesn't have the start button, so it follows it. So you have to hit the Windows key and it should pop up right here. And this is your basic KDE look and feel. But everything's here and at least it's not a damn start screen, which doesn't make sense. And this is Windows 10. I wonder why there's no Vista. Mm. So that pretty much covers the whole thing. Q4 OS and XP Q4. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up. So there we go, this is Q4 OS. Now it's time to rate it. Features wise, well, it has everything out of the box, Synaptic Package Manager, Debian, everything you need in order to get going. And with LibreOffice has always been a plus to have. And yeah, it has pretty much everything all fit. It's well packed, lots of features and cool wallpapers as well. So for me features would be a 9. The look and feel, um, look and feel feels a lot like a Windows XP-ish style. However the menu that comes with it, um, having accessories showing every single application really is I have no idea what it, I don't know, but mainly uh, other than that, um, the other applications are well put in, if they're not in accessories that is, but it does feel pleasing, look and feels, you know, pretty straightforward, it doesn't seem cluttered, complicated, so without a doubt for me, that's a 7. Ease of use, well, it's Debian, what do you expect, so it's very easy to use. So, it's a 9. Customizability. Well, it's extremely customizable because, again, Debian. But, with the option of having other developers developing, well, X, XPQ4, for example, that is only for Q4 OS, makes this operating system an underdog, but it actually should be getting a lot more praise than that. It should be a lot more popular getting in the top 10 range especially with the potential it has trinity you can add kde if you want you can add any any other windows window desktop environments wine everything so it is uniquely customizable and that's a plus so thanks to that it's a 10. so overall q4 you get a 9 out of 10. So if you have any questions, comments, anything I've overlooked or not looked at, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you would like to know, get to know a little bit more about good old me, leave a comment down below, ask away any questions you have for an upcoming Q&A video. And until next time, stay bold and take care. Thanks for watching.